Hey everyone, welcome back to the horror show. I'm Cecil Laird, and here we are. I uh, apparently had to do a special video just for another trailer that dropped today, only a few days after the last trailer for the Cinematic Marvel Universe went up. Uh, a few days ago, we did a reaction to the second trailer for Captain Marvel. Uh, now here we are, and they just dropped the very first Avengers 4 trailer, otherwise known as Avengers Endgame. So, I am very interested to see what they're going to show us here. Um, it does appear to be a full-length trailer, as opposed to just a teaser, although they may just call it a teaser, I don't really know. I'm excited to get into it, although first I do have to make a bit of a correction in the last video. I mistakenly called Brie Larson Brie Olsen, and um, if you don't know who Brie Olsen is, wait till you turn 18 to Google it. So, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pull up this trailer in three, two, one, four, well, not three, two, one yet, but this is for, again, Avengers Endgame. So, three, two, one, go. All right. That's a blasted up Iron Man helmet for sure. This thing on? <laughs> This thing on the microphone. If you find this recording, don't feel bad about this. Talk about the journey. Oh wow! Looks like the it looks like the Falcon. Just Obviously, it's not. In space it's a ship. Girl. The promise of rescue is more fun than it sounds. The ship does look like the Flying Falcon, though. The food water ran out four days ago. Oh wow! Oxygen will run out tomorrow morning. Yikes! Be it. When I drift off, I will dream about you. Oh, wow. That's sweet. It's always you. Wow. Giving him a chance to really act. Wow. Oh, Marvel, Marvel Studios isn't feeling so good. <laughs> what is that? All right, I'm going to have to break this down. Oh, it was Thanos' stuff. Okay. It's Thanos' armor. I don't know what... <laughs> oh wow. percent of all living creatures. Damn. Not just humans, all creatures? We lost so half the cats friends. in the world are gone too? That's a bummer. We lost friends. Wait, who was that? We oh lost family. Oh man. I gotta go through this again. We lost a part of ourselves. Oh, is that Ronin? Did he become Ronin? This is the fight of our lives. Nice! This is gonna work, Steve. I know it is. Because I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't. Damn. Damn, that is a minimal trailer, but that's going to be enough for people. It's like, oh, there is more. I didn't know there was more. <laughs> it's actually smart for them to... Oh, wow. This is Scott Lang. Yes. Yes. <laughs> is this an old message? I got really big. Ant-Man, I know you know I know you know that. <laughs> That's me. Can you buzz me in? Smart! So smart. Wow, that was a very, very, very intelligent trailer to put out. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna I missed some of the dialogue too, but I'm gonna go back here and let it run. Um I'm gonna let it run with the dialogue for a bit because I missed some of it, so. Here we go. So the, I love this. I'm gonna demic this for a second, but um, but yeah, I, I, this is interesting because they're actually giving Tony a chance to really act instead of just being the usual overconfident screw up Tony. Um, he's being able to say goodbye to Pepper, um, especially that it's you. It's always you, you know, that I you know drift off thinking about and stuff. Um, I really like that. I really love the beauty of this shot, the the solitude of the of being adrift in space. Um, that's pretty cool, man. I really dig it. And I just like that he's... Is this thing on? The little recording device. <coughs> so... Yeah. When I drift off, I will dream about you. Yeah, there we go. I love that line. It's always you. So well done. I think he might say one more thing. If you look, he opens his mouth like he's going to say one more thing. It's always you. So he opens his mouth just like he's about to say something else. And then he reaches down. They cut away and he reaches down. So he's got to say something else there, too. 
And then Marvel Studios isn't feeling so good again. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that's, yeah, so that's the Thanos armor. I was just like, what? I, I, at first to me, it struck me as like Planet Hulk armor. Um, but obviously that wouldn't make any kind of sense. The Thanos armor makes perfect sense. So I get it now, okay? Relax, guys. Just relax. Thanos did yeah. exactly what he said he was going to do. So he's wandering. Thanos is just wandering Thanos in did. his peaceful area. That's pretty cool. Exactly what he said he was going to do. He wiped out 50% of all living creatures. Man. So we got Banner there. Wait, so he's looking at Scott Lang, and who else? Who's over there? Who is that over there? I can't tell who that is. I mean, I can see, but I can't see, I can't recognize the face from this angle. But he's looking at Scott Lang and covering his eyes. I wonder why. We lost. All of us. Oh, that was Captain America saying that. Okay. Lost friends. Oh, it was Nebula. That's who that is. That's Nebula. Wow, they actually showed a guard, uh, you know, one of the remaining guardians here too. Was she the only one left? I can't remember. Did all the guardians get it? I know Groot and Rocket did, or did Rocket too? I gotta rewatch Avengers Four. I got it on Black Friday, so now I can. But so that's Nebula, still feeling bad after Gamera's death, obviously. You lost friends. You lost family. And this is cool. So if you guys didn't realize what this is, oh, it is the Ronin costume. Look at that. The armbands are totally Ronin. So what happened once, um, Brian Michael Bendis in the Avengers series um, from the mid-2000s created a character called Ronan. I think it was Bendis. So basically what happened was Hawkeye at one point, I can't remember the exact reasoning, but he shed his Hawkeye identity and this, this he kind of disappeared from the scene. Or I think it might have actually been after Hawkeye was killed. Bendis killed Hawkeye in an Avengers Disassembled book and i think maybe when he came back he was ronin um but essentially this new character ronin that was a badass ninja that knew how to use a sword um and uh, he he just kind of started helping out the avengers and then it was revealed that it was actually hawkeye so here they're actually making him ronin i'm really excited about that because they're finally going to make hawkeye interesting i hope giving him some kind of character arc but i wonder what pushes him to become ronin so this is Ronin right here. That's what he looks like. Um, and like I said, you can I'll show you the armband because it looks exactly the same right there. So look at that. It's got the yellow piping and the you know the black gauntlet, the hood, everything. Well, they don't have the hood in that picture I pulled up, but he, he does have a hood. So that's pretty cool, man, just so you guys can see what Ronin actually looks like in the comics. So that's a little more context for you. We lost a part of ourselves. Awesome. I'm so excited this about that. This is the fight of our lives. All right. This is the fight this of our lives. Work, Steve. I know it is. Because I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't. So what is their plan? They were looking at a compass? This is the fight of our lives. It's a... Oh, no. Who, it wasn't a compass. That was... Was that his Peggy? His Peggy Carter? Yep. All right. I know it is. Because I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't. Okay. Yeah. And we got super loud logo. Boom. I actually like the logo. And again, I, I see, I thought that was a smart trailer by itself. Just like, hey, we're still here. We're going to mount a defense. But then they did something even smarter. And they cut to the comedy relief. Hi. Uh, is anyone home? <laughs> this is Scott Lang. Now, here's Can the interesting thing about up? Scott. I need to rewatch Ant-Man and Wasp, but isn't that... The same van that was in the post credit scene of Ant-Man and Wasp. So doesn't he have his little microverse thing in the back of that van so they can... I don't know why that would help, but I, I don't know. Maybe that's not even the same van, but big van. So I, I'm making that link without having seen that in the movie in you know six months or whatever. But anyway, back to the uh, comedy relief. I, I love Paul Rudd so much. Um, so I, I'm, I'm digging on them hanging the back half of the trailer on him. Back half. Back 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Hi, uh, is anyone home? This is Scott Lang. <laughs> we met a few years ago at the airport in Germany. <laughs> I got really <laughs> big. Ant-Man, Ant-Man, I know you know that. That's me. Can you buzz me in? Can you buzz me in? Yeah, 
Yeah, I like it a lot, guys. Um, I'm on board for this. Uh, this looks great. I'll let it play while I give a few more thoughts. I don't know what, you know, tactic they're going to take, um, how they're going to defeat him. I mean, in the book, it it's something that's going to be way different because in the book, like, I believe Doctor Strange pulled the remaining few um, heroes because Thanos, I think, wiped out everything. Um, but he pulled, they pulled the few remaining heroes into a pocket dimension and then um, they mounted a defense with the help of Adam Warlock. Uh, but we're not seeing Adam Warlock here, even though they introduced it at the end of the last Guardians of the Galaxy movie. So I don't know quite how this is going to work without Adam Warlock, or maybe they're going to go to the Golden People um, and get Adam Warlock in this. That might be, because Nebula might know that she might be one of the last Guardians, and maybe they told her about, well, actually, they didn't even know about Adam Warlock, only the gold people do, so I don't know quite how that's going to work. I'm just interested to see how it all ties together. Maybe they don't even need to involve that at this point, but why introduce it if you weren't going to use it in an Infinity Battle? I am interested to see what happens with Thanos this time around, um, because they can't, are they going to have to ask him to unsnap or whatever? I, I don't know. I'm very curious to see how this is going to work. I'm obviously more curious about this than I am Captain Marvel, but Captain Marvel trailer did look good. This one looks good, too. Did Thor get his eye healed? I can't remember if they healed his eye in the last one, too. Um, obviously, he has two eyes now, so uh, they must have. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm very interested in this, you guys. Black Widow, obviously, I didn't even mention her. She's been all over the trailer, too, so it's good to see her back. Aren't they doing a Black Widow movie now? I think they finally are, you know, 10 years into it. But uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited about this, guys. Why don't you let me know in the comments down below, what do you think is going to happen? How are they going to resolve everything? Will it be involving Adam Warlock, or are they just going to sidestep that? <clears throat> are they going to involve the, the microverse? Is that in the back of Scott's van? I don't know. I'm curious. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking along these lines. Until next time, though, I've been Cecil Laird, and remember, stay scared.